Welcome to the second lecture and here we will go through the interface of the app. It is very important for everyone to be familiar with the tools and options in the app or software he or she is working. It speeds up your work progress and becomes very easy to get a task done. On your right side is the highlights of Kind Master. On your left there are three main buttons. But first let us go to the settings. On your left you can see four tabs. Information tab has your info, subscription, Kind Master account details and purchase history. Nothing much for us for now. However, if you purchase it, you can get access to advanced features. The editing tab has default duration of photo, layer cropping mode for a photo clip. The default duration of a photo means the total duration of a photo on the timeline. Obviously, you can stretch the photo which is a single frame to any time duration. On an iOS device, it is set as 4.5 seconds. On Android, it is set as 6 seconds. Default cropping mode for a photo clip. This one is interesting. The default setting here is Ken Burns, which means when you import an image or photo, it creates a slow motion zoom into it. If you don't want that to happen, just change the settings to fit in a screen or fill screen. Nothing much to worry about in the recording and sorting buckets. Let's move on. Tap the big center button. Here it is asking the aspect ratio whether it is 16 ratio 9 landscape video, 9 ratio 16 portrait or a square 1 ratio 1 video. Here I will tap on 16 ratio 9. Remember if you choose one of these ratios you cannot roll it back. So choose what is the best fit for you. Here we are. This is the interface of Kind Master app. It has three main components the toolbox, the preview window and the timeline. Now let's understand the bunch of icons on the left hand. This icon is called the back button. It lets you back to the main window. Next two buttons are undo and redo. Then comes the help button. The next is the settings button. Down under the button expands the timeline for precise editing. You should be toggling it when you have more layers on your project. You can see a preview window is shown overlaying the timeline window. On Android, you can call the preview window by tapping on the monitor icon. This icon lets you jump to the start and end of the video. This circle on the top right hand has a bunch of tools with which we can import all sorts of our media, videos, recorded audios and uh, images, title, additional videos, layers. On the center is the red capture video icon. You can record a video and take snaps right in the app. The captured footage and images will directly come to the timeline once you finish recording it. The thresh bean on the top lets you remove the kind master watermark from the video. Tapping it will let you use the 7 day free trial. An annual subscription will give you access to premium assets, footage, images, titles and other features. So we are done with the interface introduction of kind master. In the next lecture we will import footage and we will work with the cut tool.